Hey, how's it going everybody? Lethal One here, and I'm back with another exciting episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, when we last left off, I was in Kakarika Village, but I came out in request of one of my friends. I went back to the stables, and look. Look what my horse has. It has a saddle. I don't know if the saddle is the reason why, but my horse is a lot more obedient. It actually is a lot easier to ride. Also, I noticed that there was a strange block sitting right here on this brick, on this boulder. So I use the ability, geez, I forgot what it's called, oops. The magnesis, and I put the block and matched the symbols. And then this guy came out, so now I have an extra seed. If you guys were paying attention, you saw when I whistled, because I tried that before, my horse actually came to me. Now, I don't know if that has anything to do with the saddle, but it's a lot more convenient. Now, if it gets stuck, I could just call it, but it's not magic. So if you're too far away, the horse will not hear your whistle and it won't move. Whoa. Now, I didn't realize this before, but the sensor went off somewhere over here. Yeah, I think it's up above. I don't think there's any way for me to get up there, especially with my current stamina. Yeah, I don't think so. We're gonna try anyway. I know like last episode, I was super duper excited. I was like, oh, I'm finally in Kakarika, but I, at the same time, I, I really don't wanna go there just yet because I feel like I'm missing a lot of things. And if there is a shrine up here, that would give me the fourth um, orb. Nope, I don't see it now. I don't see it anywhere. But the fourth orb would give me a, the ability to uh, get another heart container. Yeah, I'm like really confused. I thought this thing would be close. Whoa. I, oh, I see it. Oh man, I thought that goat was gonna ram me. All right, well, we'll just stick with Kakarika Village. At least I know that going through Kakarika Village, we will get to a shrine eventually. But yeah, the sensor is really sensitive, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Oh, uh, see? Yeah, same shrine. Interesting. All right, let's try to make my way down without dying. Ooh, that was close. How about we let go? Oh, I found a trick. All right, here we go. Back to the village. Ah, shut up, sensor. We're on our way. I wonder if it's a way to kind of like turn it off, but. Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, I see arrows up there. And then second, I saw like a golden beetle. Where did it go? Am I crazy? I mean, I am crazy. But I swear I saw a golden beetle or something. That's why I jumped off the horse. Can I somehow... No. That was, that was kind of stupid. I was going to see if I can kind of magnetize those arrows to me. But that eyeball, that reminds me of uh, Ocarina of Time and A Link to the Past where, you know, those eyeballs actually open up. And uh, you can actually shoot at them to open doorways or passageways. I like the music to this, this village. All right, you wait here, horsey. We got some exploring to do. We've been waiting for this for a long time. Oh, this one is hurt. Traveler, I'm sorry, but I seem to have twisted my ankle. Hmm, let's see here. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. At least you're human. Say, Traveler. Where did you get that object hanging from your waist? 
I explain, I guess. Yes, I see. The Sheikah Slate is a symbol. It means you are a, are the hero of legend. Though there are a few who know of such legends anymore, but we Sheikah have been waiting for you for a very long time. Please, before all else, I must insist that you meet our leader, Lady Impa. That's what I'm here for. Lady Impa's house is below Latherin Falls, just over there. In any case, it is a real honor to meet you. Heh, I suppose you'd used to used to that, having lived as long as you have. Ooh, that's interesting. I wonder how old Link is. Link in this game is some kind of immortal. I mean, he was in that space capsule thingy. Some kind of magical capsule. Alright, as much as I want to explore below, something looks really suspicious up this way. So I'm going to go up here and see what's up here first. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know what? I don't think it's polite to kill roosters inside of other people's villages. So I won't bother it just yet. But I will take these apples because I really need them. I really need all the apples, but I'm kind of scared. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to go for that last apple. <gasps> so this is the shrine. All right, well, you know what? Why not? We're here. Let's do the shrine, and then we'll go Talanag Nag Shrine. Talanag. Talanag has a nice ring to it. Oh, this is a beauty. To you who sets foot in the shrine of Talaneg, I share with you the knowledge that it may please Hylia. Actually, that was a little different. Talaneg's teachings. Okay, well, for well, one, there's two treasures out in the open. I think that's very interesting. Eightfold blade. Oh, heck no. We got to get that. That blade looks... It reminds me of Oblivion. I always compare this game to Oblivion in some way, but it reminds me of the Blades, their weapon. Yeah, I don't think that this will be missed, so to speak. And the Blades' uh, weapon of choice was like a weapon that looked like a katana. And I like anything that looks like a katana because I'm into samurais and ninjas. Ooh, okay, a small Sheikah shield made design its design is intended to decrease blind spots without sacrificing too much defense oh man i really need some more inventory just why okay i'm gonna equip this one but then i'm gonna pick up the weird shield whoa what's this what's happening Oh, heck no. Are you serious? You side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This would create an opening that you can use to strike back. It's not really attacking, though. Unless I got to get closer. Why am I not hopping though? Oh, that's why. Holy moly, that was cool. Do a black backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. All right, so we're gonna do down. This was prophesized by the Sheikah. Oh my goodness, I love this game. I absolutely love it. Teach me, you can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. Uh oh, I just did that on accident actually. Wait, I gotta put this away first. Now we're golden. Come on, I played Dark Souls. I played Dark Souls, I could do this. Okay, not bad. 
build up your power, and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Get your enemy in the motion to damage them. Okay, so this is something... Did I know this? I don't think I knew this. Oh, snap. I am a sword master. All right, cool. So you have done well to learn these crucial skills. Now proceed. Well, thank you for teaching me because I wouldn't have guessed to try some of these techniques. And my reward is another treasure. Guardian sword, a sword wielded by guardian scouts. Its blue energy blade is a product of ancient technology. It's not very durable. You know what? At this point, I don't care if it's durable or not. I like it for the aesthetics. So we're going to go ahead and just drop these. I know it's weird. I kind of feel like I need branches. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take a chance. All right. So we're just going to observe a little bit. Make sure there's nothing missing. Because I've never seen a shrine that just gives you these items. Okay. Opal. I was hoping to get a new shirt, maybe like that green Link, you know, outfit that we usually see. This is by far the best shrine yet. Your triumph over the test of strength subverts the prophecy of ruin from the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. You, sir, are the best. So now, I think that makes four, or it might be three. I wasn't paying attention. Let's see how many orbs we have. Oh, we got four. Time for an upgrade. May the goddess smile upon you. Goddess, why did I say goddess? May the goddess smile upon you. I'm so stupid sometimes. All right, so we completed the shrine. Now, our main objective is to actually go out and find Impa because that's what the king wanted us to do. But we're gonna take a little bit of a detour. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check some of these houses. It's always good to know your environment because I'm pretty sure we're gonna be spending a lot of time in this village. Wait, what's this over here? They have roosters everywhere. And I myself personally like fried chicken, but I'm not gonna bother them. Let's see what's in here. The Sheikah has a nice, comfortable environment. Like, this is just a nice, cozy... No, get off. Get off. Nice, cozy little village here. Now, I was expecting something more of, like, the Breath of Fire series with the dragon, the dragon people. Like, I thought the village was going to be in ruins, but it's not. This village is actually flourishing, which is refreshing. Is that a hoe? And I don't mean the <laughs> the female. I mean the guarding tool. All right. Well, whoa. What's that? A frog? Open up. All right. Well, I was hoping I can find something in these buildings, but you know what? It might be just best for me to go ahead and get to the big house because a lot of these buildings are empty I'm pretty sure at nighttime it won't be oh dirty up your water mmm hey how you do sir can I have some of these carrots please hmm do you need something yes I want carrots give me about full five of them I haven't seen you around here before but there's something so familiar about that face of yours yeah, I'm the hero of time, or hero of legend. Oh yes, I remember now. It was a long ago when the calamity hit, but you look just like the swordsman who was trying to stop it. Yeah, that was me. So this guy must be very old too. Say what now? You're really the same swordsman from way back when? Aha! Uh -huh. Young people these days sure do like their jokes. If you're really that noble swordsman, you have the legendary blade, the sword that seals the darkness. Ooh, I like it. So it's not the master sword anymore, it's the legendary sword. You see, 
that thing about the swordsman is he trained with swift carrots instead of a blade. Okay, well, I'm going to eat them carrots. He strengthened his body with a diet made entirely of swift carrots. And he tempered his soul with the sweet aroma of swift carrots, too. That's what my grandfather always used to say anyway. Well, your grandfather's a liar. So I pause you stop joking around all the time and instead have a carrot and try to be more like the swordsman. Thank you, sir. Looking for carrots? You can buy some over at my old lady's shop. Aw, oh, man. If you want to be strong like that legendary swordsman, come to my place when the day is done. Yeah, when it's nighttime, I will come back so you can rejog my memory because apparently I've lost all my skills and strength and we need to know what that blade is. Get them apples, get them apples, get them. Get the apples. Thank you. All right, so I'm assuming the old lady, they're getting big. Can I have one of those roosters? Plums symbolize endurance and prosperity. Oh, plums. I don't see any plums. The way they preserve through the harshness of winter and flower at the first sight of spring, we Sheikah strive to live in harmony with our environment and consider plum trees the silent guardians of our village. Uh, that's weird. These plums here are were planted by Impa on the day I was born. They're special to me, so I keep a close watch on them. So I'm assuming those are plum trees, but I want some of them plums. Hey, what are you doing? I'm sorry. These are plum trees. I've been raising them my whole life. They've grown as I've grown. They are part of me. When these trees eventually rot and fall away, so will I. That's why I'm painstakingly raised them with all the love I can muster. So as long as I'm around, there's no way I'd let you mess with my plum garden. Sharon is caring. You ever heard that before? Hmm. I seem to have lost my way. Now, as big as that house was, they showed. I do not see it now. All right. Well, you know what? Oh, whoa, whoa. I almost missed this building. It's a symbol of a moon. OK, she's asleep. This must be an inn. Are you a guest? I suppose so. You scared me half to death. Well, the regular bed. Yeah, it's, a, it's an inn. No, thanks. Bye. Well, it's good to know you're here. Try to stay awake on a job, though. Man, this place is big. Okay, look, there's the carrot shop. So we know what a carrot shop is. And what is this? Oh, I see arrows. Hey. I can't remember the last time we had a customer in here. Young folks in this village don't have much use for a bow. It's a thrill to see a young lad like you come into my shop. Well, don't mind me. Take your time looking around. I want to sell. Wait, I don't want to. Wait, I don't want to sell anything. I want to buy some stuff. Look at all these arrows like I've fire arrows. Oh, all I got to do is just go and pick them up. Ah. Let me go with that's all the money I have, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. I'll be back. This is very convenient as well. I just got to find an efficient way to make some money. All right, well, we're down at the bottom of the village now, and we're just going to head to this weird guy over here that looks like he's drawing something. Hmm, are you... Sorry to bother you, but are you the fellow... Are you a fellow traveler? As for me, I just love art. In fact, I'm traveling the world in search of beautiful landscapes. Just between you and me, I hear that there's a great fairy fountain somewhere near this village. I hear it's breathtakingly beautiful. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see that. Aesthetics aside, they also say the place can bestow some kind of mysterious power on people. However, since I'm an outsider, I can't get anyone to tell me any more details than that. 
These villagers never leave the safety of their village, so travelers like me are treated with suspicion. But I don't give up. Oh, and if I manage to find anything out, I will be sure to let you know. Uh, thank you, sir. I would love to find a fairy fountain. New clothes, cute outfits. Darn it, why am I so broke? This is what I've been looking for. Enchantment is open for business every day of the year. Oh my, look at that face. You are totally my type. Hi. Um, no thanks. Princess Zelda's my boo. Oh, and you even have a Sheikah slate on your hip. Wait. Wait, huh? A Sheikah slate? Isn't that like an incredible thing that only incredible people can have? I'm not sure what this all means, mister, but it seems you're a great deal more important than you appear. I'm Link, the legendary hero. Ooh, look at, wow. Oh, I gotta get these. I wanna talk to you, I wanna look. Welcome to Enchant in my high-end boutique. By the by, that stealth chest guard over there is highly recommended. While you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless, so it's perfect for hunting and stuff. Oh, but it offers very little defense. Small price for the extra stealth. Oh, 700 rupees? 500? Yeah, I don't really care about those over there. I'm gonna have to like, do some assassin missions or something. Be an assassin for hire, get some money. So this looks like Impa's place is highly guarded. Look at those apples. I want those apples, but I don't think it's a good idea for me to take those apples, but I'm gonna take those apples anyway. You there, who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm. Yeah, check out that Sheikah slate, fellas. But that would mean you are... No, it's not possible. Can it be? Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step aside. Inside. Alright, Impa. I've been waiting to see what you look like. Let's see what the... Whoa, huh? A man? Huh, is that? It's a Sheikah Slate. Can you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? L Lin? Yeah, his name's Lin. Um, oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As far as for me, my name is Pape. Pa Pape? My name is Paya. Paya. Hey, uh, phew, I got it out. I thought I had a speech impediment. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been awaiting your return ever since I was little. P please hurry inside. Sorry for the plosives. There's a lot of peas in this video. All right, I just want to see you. I just have a bad habit of always checking my environment. All right, fellas, this is all ladies too. This is what we've been so waiting on. You're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Yeah, you were that hot ninja lady from back in the day. What's the what is the matter? You are looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiar familiarity. I can never say that word. It is I courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember my name, Impa. I see, so you have lost your memory. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, 
please come a bit closer. Yeah, I'll stay here, thank you. A hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's finest, final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. So that's what happened to me. And then all along, alone she went to face Ganon before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you I have been waiting 100 years to deliver the princess's message however these words which the princess risked her life to leave you well if you are to hear them you must be prepared to risk your life as well but I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. The word the princess risked her life to impart to you, I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? I am. Ha! Not a memory to your name, yet you are intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Yeah. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land, should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Oh. 
a hundred years ago in prep and preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Free the four divine beast. That is what she said. The four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikin weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beast Va Rudania, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons, who the Gorons, the divine beast Va Mido, controlled by Rivali of the Rito, Rito, the divine beast Va Ruta, controlled by Mipha of the Zora, ooh, Zoras, and the divine beast Va Naboris, controlled by Orboza of the Garuda. Wow. It would be extremely ill advised to face Ganon without the power of the divine beast to help you. You must infiltrate divine beasts that were stolen away by Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these divine beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. Free the divine beast. It seems to me your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Now let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hintino Village might be able to help you, so we do have to go there. The location shining on the eastern edge, oh my gosh, is Hintino Village. It is a small village, one of the very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. Hmm. You are Princess Zelda's only hope in Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. It is your destiny. Alright guys, that... Oh, huh? Hey, Paya. Oh. I was like, I thought she was going to say something important. Just going up here to look around. Okay, there's nothing up here. Oh, there is something here. This looks like Papaya's diary. It seems she's only just started writing in it. Read. Grandmother says she conspired with Princess Zelda and Auntie Perua a hundred years ago. They decided to put a long swordsman into a long sleep so to prepare for a time that was foretold in legends the name of that swordsman is link since then grandfather grandmother <laughs> has been waiting for him to reappear after all this time i too pray that he awakens soon for the sake of hyrule and for grandmother's sake as well all right guys i think i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here i just wanted to say give my comments on the story so far i thought it was very interesting uh, the story that they told there 10,000 years ago. I like the music that they played. It almost brought a tear to my eye because it's just re of some of the classic Zelda games. I'm getting old. I remember when those games were like fresh. I was a, I was a little kid. But I also wanted to say that this Calamity Ganon, this whole timeline, the whole story of Calamity Ganon is just much different from the Ganon we know. Um, I know this is a different universe, but I always known Ganon as to be a thief, you know, like the king of thieves or whatever. Um, but this is a totally different Ganon, so it'll be interesting to see. Oh, before we end this video, I am so bad at outros, guys. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I am really bad at outros. But since I'm here, let's just see what this is. That really looks suspicious. There's a treasure here. 
thank you very much well guys thank you i will see you next week i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh when we come back we will take on i think we're gonna start with hateno village first and then we'll start working on the divine beast have a good one guys peace